Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be doing my memory spread and this is for the week of February 10th through the 16th, which was Valentine's week. And so I have this very Valentine's Day themed kit from Nikki Plus 3. I actually picked this up last year and I was gonna use it for Valentine's Day, but for some reason it didn't end up working out. And so I just had this kit saved and I'm finally ready to use it this year. Um, on this page, we have the eight full boxes and some quarter boxes at the bottom. This kit is in a rose gold foil, as you can see. And here we have some half boxes, some washi strips, some um, flags, and text stickers. On this page, I think this is like her old formatting because I don't think her format is like this anymore. Um, but at the top, we have a really tiny weekend banner and some deco pieces. I think this is an additional full box. And then we have some check flags and checklists. We've got a couple habit trackers, a bill due, an appointment sticker, some foiled headers, and then all these icons at the bottom. And the last page, I believe, is the bottom washi. And we have a Monday through Sunday box, some date covers, and then a few more quarter boxes here at the bottom. Um, I have totally forgotten that her format used to look like this because I'm so used to her current format so I was like a little shocked but I feel like that will make it really fun and I'm super excited to jump right in so without further ado I'm going to place down my bottom washi and then build the rest of my spread from there for this week, I decided to use both strips of washi that came in the kit, and I did have to white out some of the bolder lines in my Erin Condren planner so that they did not peek through the bottom washi. Um, so while I go ahead and do that on both sides, I want to quickly let you guys know that this video will be a leftovers giveaway. Um, I have quite a large stack of giveaway stickers as well as other D stash items that I would love to share. So if you're interested in entering the giveaway, simply leave a comment down below that lets me know you would like to enter. So it can just say giveaway, or giveaway entry. And if you have any questions, I will leave all the details in the description box below. So make sure you check there for all of the info. Moving on to the sidebar, I first placed down that box with the macarons, I believe that's what they are, in the top corner, and I think that one is so cute. And then I initially pulled in this rose gold foiled bow header from, I think it's from Sadie Stickers, but I decided not to use that later on because I found some foiled headers in the kit. So you'll see me replacing that a bit later. I placed down a habit tracker to track my working out, and then I used a foiled quarter box with this heart checklist to mark some of my happy moments of the week. I placed down the Monday through Sunday box that came with the kit to track all my dinners, and then I layered a couple pieces of washi just to close out that space at the bottom. I then fill in the headers of my sidebar. I did pull in this foiled utensil sticker from Hazel Sticker for my dinners, and then I go ahead and place down all the date covers which came in the kit. I couldn't find any rose gold foil date dots for this week, so I decided to write in the dates myself. And then, um, like I mentioned earlier, this is where I'm switching out the bow header for a foiled header from the kit instead. On Monday, I first placed down a foil today header, and then I used a piece of deco with this coffee sticker from Fox and Pip to mark my usual coffee that I like to get on Monday mornings. I didn't like how I drew that little heart. Um, it just looked kind of wonky, so I went ahead and whited it out. And then I used a quarter box with a laptop sticker. That's from Paper and Milk, but it was like one of her original stickers, so I don't know if she still has that available. Um, but anyways, I did use that to mark a busy day at work. And then because I didn't have a lot going on on Monday, I used this little flag sticker. I think that's from The Giving Girl to mark my lunch that day. I placed down a full box underneath that, and then I used a foiled header with a half box and the shoe sticker from Panda Bird Designs. I thought that rose gold glitter went really well with this kit since it's rose gold foiled, and I used that to mark working out on Monday evening. Um, the brush lettering pen that I'm using this week is from Pilot. At the end of the night, I filmed a plan with me, and I found these really pretty rose gold foiled half hexagons. Um, I think that's from Saucy Stickers Co. I got that as a sampler, and I also pulled in this text sticker, but I think it's from a shop that's no longer open. Initially, I placed down a full box at the bottom of Tuesday, but you'll see me lifting that up in just a second. Um, at the very top, I placed down a to-do header, and then this is where I decided I wanted to use a full box at the top of the day instead. I wanted to use that full box to mark a couple meetings that I had that day, and I honestly did not like how I marked these meetings, but I didn't really plan it out in advance, so um, I just kind of had to deal with it. I used another flag sticker from The Giving Girl, and that's to mark a staff meeting. I should have scooted that up a little bit because I also wanted to mark an IEP that I had, and usually I like to pull in IEP flags from Lily Grove Designs, but it did not fit in that space, so I decided to cut up a flag sticker from the kit to fit in that space 
And for some reason, I decided to outline that flag and I think it looked awful. So um, I decided to nix that all together. I ended up pulling in this IEP sticker from Happy Dia Stickers instead to mark my afternoon meeting. And I think that was just the best way that I could have made that work. Um, I did encounter a frustrating situation at work that day. So I used this sticker of a mochi slamming its head into the wall, which is pretty much how I felt. And that sticker is from Mochi Kichi. I got home really late that day, so I used a quarter box with a car sticker from Nicole Hutch Designs to mark that. I then placed down a half box and used this takeout sticker. I think that's from Mochi Kichi as well, and that's to mark that we got takeout that night for dinner. I found this foiled arrow sticker from the same Saucy Stickers co-sampler sheet that I had, and I decided to put that at the bottom because I had a little bit of empty space. And then I used a Today header and cut up a three heart checklist to mark some things that we did that night. Um, we watched some TV, I did a little online shopping, and then I booked some flights for an upcoming trip. So I also placed down this travel sticker from my spoiled planner. On Wednesday, I started by placing down a full box at the very bottom. Then I go ahead and move to the top, and the first thing I do is put down a foiled header. I did have a phone meeting at work that day, so I used an appointment label to mark that. I then used a utensil sticker from Hazel Sticker to mark my lunch that day. And then I placed down a half box with an IEP flag from Lily Grove Designs to mark my IEP that afternoon. I placed down a to-do header with a quarter box and this bow sticker from Planning Like a Pro. I love her little bows. I think they just fit so nicely in small spaces and that's to mark my working out. And then I did a voiceover and edited a video that night. So I used this laptop sticker from Nicole Hutch Designs. I then go ahead and move on to Thursday. Um, Thursday was actually the last day of work this week for me because I had Friday off as part of President's Day. Um, so I started the day by placing down a Today header and then I used a flag from the kit with this rose gold foiled drink sticker from Hazel Sticker to mark my morning coffee. I had a meeting at our district office that day, which I put on a half box, and that laptop emoji is from the Coffee Monsters Co. Um, again, I'm using my brush lettering pen from Pilot to do a little lettering on the half box. I then placed down a full box and I used this little rice bowl sticker from Paper and Milk to mark what I got for lunch that day. And then I used a quarter box with another shoe sticker from Panda Bird Designs to mark my workout that evening. On Thursday, my boyfriend and I did an early Valentine's date because I wasn't going to be in town on Valentine's Day. Um, so to mark our date night, I used this little post-it sticker that's from Saucy Stickers Co. And I also pulled in this ramen sticker from A Happy Blue Tree. At the end of the night, I had to pack for my trip the next day. And so I used this um, washi strip with another bow sticker from Planning Like a Pro. Moving to Friday, I first placed down a full box at the very top, and then I found this Valentine's Day script sticker that's from Paper and Milk. I think it was part of a collab that she did with Carly Cat Plans, and I love her writing, so I'm really excited I found this sheet and was able to pull in that sticker. And then on Friday morning, I flew out on my trip, so to mark that, I used an airplane sticker from my spoiled planner. A group of friends and I were doing our annual girls trip together. This is like our fifth year doing this trip over President's Day weekend. And we always choose a different spot every year. And this year we were going up to Oakland, which is in the Bay Area, so still in California. Um, so that's where I was headed. And my sister actually lives around there. So I was able to hang out with her on Friday before I met up with my friends. But anyways, the next thing I wanted to mark was that I got a free drink on my flight. Um, Southwest was giving out a free drink for Valentine's Day, which is awesome. So I put that on a washi strip and I pulled in the string sticker from the Coffee Monsters Co. to mark that. Underneath that I used a half box with this large rose gold foiled bow. I think that's from KPL Plans and I got that as a sampler but I used that to mark that my sister and I did a sister date for lunch. Um, it was really good to see my sister. I haven't seen her in quite some time and I'm so happy we got to spend Valentine's Day together. I feel like it's a holiday to celebrate love in all forms whether that's with your significant other or family or friends but surrounding yourself with the people that you love is what makes this holiday so special. Um, so anyways that was really nice and underneath that I used these arrow stickers from the kit to mark that I checked into our Airbnb for the weekend. My sister and I then went to get some boba and also grab a couple of beers afterwards um, so I used a washi strip to mark that and the foiled boba sticker is from Hazel Sticker. 
After that, my friends flew into town, and so we all got together to grab some dinner and then go out for the night. Um, so I wanted to consolidate all of those things, and I decided to use a checklist. First, I placed down a washi strip as a header for the checklist, and then I cut that up into three hearts so I could mark the three places that we went. And because we went out to get drinks, I used this beer munchkin from Once More With Love to mark that, and I feel like it's so cute. I love that little sticker so much. For the weekend, I first placed down a full box at the very bottom of Saturday before I moved back to the top. Um, then at the top of Saturday, I put down a foiled header and initially I used this washi strip to mark that I got coffee that morning or one of our friends like got up early and got everyone coffee, which is really sweet. Um, that foiled coffee sticker is from Hazel Sticker, but I do end up deciding to lift that up entirely because I wanted to mark some other things instead. Um, but anyways, after that, we got ready and went out to brunch. Um, the pancake sticker is from Kina Prince. Then after brunch, we walked around a large lake that was in the city. And so um, to mark that, I used a shoe sticker from Dizzy Daisy Dreams. We ended up walking like five miles that day. So I was super tired because I'm really not used to walking very much normally. Um, so anyways, here's where I start to try consolidating things so I could shift everything up a little bit. I started to realize that I would run out of space to mark everything that we did that day. So initially I used a to-do header and I think I cut up another checklist into three hearts. Um, I started to write down some of the places we went that night, but because I felt like we had so much fun that night, um, I just felt like it was more important to mark those things separately instead of marking coffee. Hopefully that makes sense. Like I want to highlight the things that were important or were fun. So I go ahead and remove the coffee sticker and shift up the brunch and the walk. I then remove everything else and I start from the bottom to make sure I had enough space. Um, the first thing I put down is a quarter box with a shot glass from Hazel Sticker to mark where we went out that night. Um, we actually went to San Francisco that night. There's just such a like fun, exciting energy about the city. Um, but anyways, above that, I used another hexagon from Saucy Stickers Co. with a bow from Planning Like a Pro to mark where we got dinner. And then above that, I used a flag from The Giving Girl to mark where we got some drinks before dinner because because our wait was like almost two hours. Um, so we definitely needed to grab some drinks before. I had a sliver of remaining space, so I used a washi strip with this heart deco that came in the kit to mark that we relaxed in the middle of the day and then we got ready to go out. And then at the very bottom, I decided to pull in this foiled sticker that's actually from Erin Condren and it came um, in the back of my planner like on a whole sheet of different icon stickers. But anyways, I decided to use that to mark that my sister who came out with me and my friends, we took our first shot together, which was really interesting. Um, we haven't really had a lot of opportunities to go out together, so um, this is one of the first times that we were able to do that. And it was really fun getting to do that with my little sister. And then I go ahead and move to Sunday. At the top of Sunday, I used a Today header, and then I placed down a washi strip with this angry girl from Paper Bear Co. to mark that I had a horrible experience at a rental car place. Um, my friend and I went to try to rent a car, and we had reservations and everything, but they basically said they didn't have a car for us, and yeah, it was just an awful experience, and I just wanted to mark that. Um, then I put down a foiled header with a two-heart checklist to mark some of the things we got for breakfast that morning. That coffee sticker, again, is from Hazel Sticker. I then placed down a full box to mark that we drove up to Napa for the day and did some wine tasting at one of the wineries up there. Um, it was super fun. I've never been really into wine, but it was just really fun getting to do that with my friends. So to mark that, I just wrote that on the full box and the wine sticker I pulled in is from Kylie and Chaos. Underneath that, I used a quarter box to mark where we grabbed some food afterwards. We then drove back to Oakland and relaxed for quite a bit. Um, I actually wasn't able to fit that in my planner because I just ran out of space for the day. Um, but I decided to use this heart icon from the kit to mark that later in the evening. We went and grabbed some beer and then um, we had dinner at this really, really amazing ramen place called Marufuku. If you're ever in Oakland, I highly recommend it, even though the wait is like super long. But we did the Yelp waitlist, which made it a lot easier. Um, that ramen sticker is from Whimsical Cat Studio. And yeah, that's it for my week. So I go ahead and fill out my sidebar, tracking all my workouts, my happy moments, and my dinners. I definitely had quite a few happy moments from this week. Now I'm just showing you guys these stickers that I have left in this kit. I did use quite a bit, um, which I'm always proud of myself for doing.
I do a vid wiggle to show you guys all the foiling that I got to pull into the spread. I don't own a lot of rose gold foil, so I was pretty proud of myself for how much I was able to pull in just through samplers and different things like that. And I'm just giving you a closer look at the kit so you can see some of the details and some of that foiling a little bit better. Um, and yeah, that is it for this week's spread. Um, this was such a fun week. I always have the best time on these trips with my girlfriends, and it was even more special this year because I got to see my sister for parts of it. Um, so yeah, it was such a great week and I'm so glad I saved this gorgeous kit from Nikki plus three to use and that's pretty much it so um, don't forget that this video is a giveaway be sure to leave your comment down below if you want to enter the giveaway and yeah let me know if you guys have any questions I would love to hear what you guys did on Valentine's Day and how you guys chose to spend it with your loved ones again I personally don't feel like this holiday really should be limited to your significant other or your spouse I just feel like it's the perfect opportunity to celebrate love in all forms um but anyways i feel like i've been really blabbering on today so i'm going to end this video thank you so much for watching as usual i hope you guys all have a wonderful week and i will talk to you guys next time bye